my name is Dan Scheffelman. I'm a professor of illustration here at FIT. One of the things that we wanted to do is introduce these students to the idea of public art. Um, you know, they've been in school, they're kind of used to doing their assignments and turning them in and nobody sees them and now it's the idea that everybody sees them. Um, it, raised, it raised the bar for them. It's about the students, it's about the school, um, it's about the department, the illustration department. And um, certainly for the students to kind of get out there and, and put their work out there on a busy New York Avenue, as 7th Avenue is. It's public, public display. The buses bring crowds to us. Um, all the people who work around here go up and down 7th Avenue. People walk into the New York Times who work there. I mean, the idea is just to, you know, all the social media that's coming out of it. People are, and right now apparently it's just exploding on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. All my evil plan, but I didn't know quite how it would work, you know. These are seniors and they are just promoting their own ideas. Uh, their own work. That's what this class is about. Uh, they're at the end of their four-year run, so it's time to pull it together. I'm Lauren, <laughs> and we're, I don't know, we're both working on pieces that are, I guess, relating to like Halloween witch stuff that's happening, I don't know. Mine isn't really like an exact scene, but I'm doing like a decorative piece with like just a witch, with like the sun underneath her and the sun exploding out of her cheeks and everything. Kind of weird, it's just like, um, it's a witch, uh, <laughs> or something shooting uh, lasers out of her eyes and uh, her skin is melting off so it's just kind of a skull too and there's going to be a little skeleton catching the melting skin which is probably going to be like a gross like uh, green color so pretty much I guess I want people to feel repulsed um, that's a good feeling <laughs> it's, but it, it's, at the same time it's, it's a little it's colorful and it's uh, I don't know. It's, it's going somewhere. I'm kind of just doing it as I as I go along. So just perfect timing for Halloween. So that's kind of the mm -hmm. thing that I'm kind of shooting for. Yeah, people enjoy the Halloween theme. So uh, I'm Adam Beaumont. Um, so this is a mural that I've been working on. I've just been working on these kind of cyclops. Uh, skeletal creatures that um, kind of have, the, they live in their own world, so uh, they're very, very dark, very mysterious, and they kind of uh, have this one vision, one eye, so it's got a lot of, <laughs> got a lot of dirt on me from today, but we've been working out here since about like 8 a.m., so like maybe 8.30 or so, so I haven't really been keeping track of time, so I don't even know what time it is right now, but um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying the process. We just, uh, they gave us a theme. They wanted us to kind of go along with something a little bit more Halloween-like. Um, if not that, then they said we can kind of go off an adventure and do what we wanted to do, but I wanted to kind of stick with the holiday theme because I'm a big Halloween fan, so I, I thought that the um, comic series that I'm working on kind of did well with this, so, yeah. Um, I like a few of them. I really like this one because it reminds me of my friends. I like this one because it reminds me of me. Um, yeah, these are it's just really cool. It's cool to see uh, wall art. New York City used to be all about graffiti and the graffiti artists. And I know this is not really graffiti, but this definitely stands out as uh, street art. So it's good to see something on a wall. My name's Liz Young. This is my work. I pretty much, I'm just winging it. I'm just making it up as I go along. Um, we were all supposed to have sketches, but I didn't have time, so I draw faces a lot, so it just kind of happened. It just comes out by itself. I don't really, I didn't think about it, because that's when it kind of gets ruined, I think, when you think about it. 
I didn't really know the point. I was like, okay, so we're going to draw outside and it's cold. And I, I didn't know that they were going to be this big either. I thought we were just going to be drawing on the, on the floor. So I was a little confused. But um, I think it's a really good thing because a lot of times people don't know what FIT really is about. And a lot of times when I tell people that I'm taking illustration at FIT, they think I'm doing fashion illustration. So I think it's good to show that there's more of a fine art aspect to illustration here. And the FIT has more than just fashion courses, so it's kind of cool. My name is Ryan Futterman. Um, I'm a huge fan of owls. I've liked owls since I was a little kid. What I'm trying to get is just uh, a really bold statement of just like tattoos, tattoo culture, and I like the bold colors and the bold line, and that's what I was going for my piece. I just want the audience to really be gripped by it. I want them to be moved by the color. I want them to notice the boldness and just feel happy. That's why I picked the light colors. This one has my attention. Be yeah, because the colors, perfect, everything is. Everything is margement and perfect. At least they can give you a message to the young people, even to the old people, you know, and, and, and show how much, basically in New York, how much we have uh, art. Karen Alarcon. This is my uh, piece in chalk. Um, this is basically uh, it's supposed to be Argentinian tegu, but I threw some of my own colors on it. I want it to be like kind of menacing, but at the same time approachable. Like you want to come and look at it, I guess. Because he's cute but dangerous, basically. I got here at three, so I've been like slaving away trying to get it done. <laughs> at first, I was like, no, <laughs> I didn't know if it was gonna work, but then. As I got my ID, I got into it, and now I'm really excited. Is this your first time being uh, painted outside for the public? Design? Yes, definitely. So, I mean, it's good for us who's graduating to have our work put out there. My name is Juan Sekcha. I started to do this piece which uh, is just um, a girl with a tattoo and highlights. Since I, that's the, well, those are my type of girls. So. <laughs> they say, you know, art do what you love when it comes to art. Yes. I love that. So that's what I did. Uh, so yeah. This is my first time I'm doing this. Uh, in fact, uh, first I was kind of messing up. But it was a learning experience as when I went along. I learned uh, more methods like, for example, wetting the wall first and then laying the chalk and then rubbing it or just making a paste and uh, like as you can see here yeah. I made a little uh, rubble then I used it as ink for the eyes and stuff like that with brush so yeah you you know I was learning as along uh, what was your first impression when the professor told you guys to do this I hated it because <laughs> I, I was um, we had to buy the supplies and so uh, I was like, I expected it to be a little costly, but actually it was actually pretty cheap. Uh, I actually got the materials because I pre-selected the colors. I didn't just buy random colors. I actually pre-selected the red, the green, and I bought them on stock. So they were actually pretty cheap. Uh, at first I was scared. I was like, oh god, my wallet's gonna start bleeding, like like the walls in the shining. Oh man. But yeah, no, I'm happy now. My name's Hannah Chusid. Well, the thing is that everyone talks about The Walking Dead. Nobody shuts up about Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is still in the news after all this time, you know, with the VMA incident. And because Halloween is coming up, she's now a zombie. It's like always seeing Miley Cyrus on the internet was driving me crazy. So I decided to draw her as a zombie because I mean, like, I am known for like horror and macabre work, and so people know me for like on the internet for like my zombie work. So thought that like taking a really big public figure and turning her into a zombie would just be like funny and creepy and. <laughs> really fascinating because if you if you just went go by FIT 
um, normally you don't know exactly what the students are doing here. Um, they're studying fashion. What's that all about, you know? Um, are they studying to, to how to make clothes or what is it all? And so this is a wonderful uh, opportunity uh, to make it to make to make this public, to make everybody see what the students are doing. Yeah, and um, wonderful to bring art out of the building to to the people. Yeah, so this is a wonderful idea. I've never seen this before. I've been a couple of times here in New York. I've never seen this, like uh, people painting and drawing outside of the building. Yeah. Well, it'll depend on the weather. If it doesn't rain, it could stay up all forever, you know. If it rains, it'll maybe wash a little bit, and I would like to just see it deteriorate over time. They'll hopefully stay as long as they can, but inevitably they will either be washed off or wear off. I think the wash off is going to happen first. At some point, maintenance will come with a power wash, you know, but I'm going to persuade them hopefully to let it, you know, it's almost like an art concept, let the weather make its own mark on it and just see where it goes. It'll, it'll, it, if it drips, I think it'll look great. You know, I'm sort of sort of doing that over there, letting it drip. And so it's very exciting. I hope they this continue. Definitely this year. For, for the next, for the seniors and the semester. <laughs> for the foreseeable future, definitely. This will be a, they deserve it. They deserve, this is a fun activity. This is a very fun activity. It's productive. And it gets you out there, you know, people ask you, you know, what's your website and stuff like that. Yes, it's very productive. So, uh, yeah, I would recommend uh, juniors uh, for the, to continue for the senior program. So, yeah, definitely. I think, we should, I think we should do it every year. Yeah. So what about the other schools? I mean, they should follow The what? Other schools? Follow yeah, other schools should do it. Yeah, everybody should do it, I think. There's a lot of people in New York City, and I think we should take advantage of that. The dean of students just came up to me and said, You've just earned yourself a spot in the uh, homecoming every year. We're going to pay for it. And what we're doing next year, a lot of other departments have come up to me and said, textile design, why can't we do this? I'm like, well, why can't you? So I think next year, hopefully we're going to circum circumscribe the entire building.